What's up everyone, Reese here from RNG Reptiles. I hope you've had an absolutely fantastic week. And if you're new to the channel, welcome. If not, then welcome back. In today's video, we're gonna take a little look at how we physically feed all of the snakes in our collection. At the moment, there's only 13 snakes, but we're gonna go through each and every one of them and give them a go at a rat or a mouse. So, um, when it comes to feeding Silco, Silco is usually an absolutely fantastic eater. So, really expect him to take this right down, absolutely no problem at all. And, uh, and yeah, let's give it a go. So Sona is usually a pretty solid eater. She is one of the females that we've been breeding. So if she is kind of disinclined to, to actually feed on one of the larger rats that we, we offer her, that wouldn't really surprise me. Um, and if she doesn't take it, we'll knock it down a size or two and uh, offer one of the smaller ones. Obviously, if she has eggs that she's currently building, then she'll be kind of disinclined to eat such a large meal because she physically won't have the space. But, um, but usually she, she's pretty, pretty avid eater. So obviously a snake will normally strike a rodent as it's horizontal, not vertical. It's not the natural position of the prey to be like dangled by the tail but the weight of that small rat there we go the weight of that small rat forced me to dangle it by the tail because the tongues couldn't hold it with Seraphine um, she's mostly a good eater so uh, when we first picked her up she took her first rat down fine Went off food for a few weeks, I think, possibly still adjusting to her new environment. And since then, she's been pretty bang on, uh, absolutely chowing down on those rats every single time we've offered her. But um, but every snake goes through a kind of natural rhythm. Sometimes they'll be voracious eaters, sometimes not so much. You know, uh, just like humans, sometimes your appetite's greater than other times. Just one kind of note on our corn snakes. Corn snakes are usually absolute savages. Eat every time, no problems. The only time we do have problems, or the only time I have experienced us having problems with the corn snakes feeding, is if there's some kind of underlying health issue. So in the 10 plus years that we've had Simon, who's just in this tank here, um, there was one period of time where he went for a couple of months without eating. After a couple of months, we did take him to a vet and, uh, and they sorted him out for us. But normally, absolute pigs. So uh, let's give them a couple of mice, see how they do. It's gonna be fast, Sindra. I'm recording. And yeah, watch this. She's locked it. Ow. 
Whoa. Have you seen her do the death roll? Yeah, wow. So I have to be careful with some of the corns that they don't escape when I simply open the door. Mm -hmm. It's lost. Whoa! Boom! Nice. <laughs> so yeah, you see the, the hole here. Yeah, 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 she comes out, I know. Whoa! <laughs> uh, I don't know if you can see this, but there's blood all over the place now. Isn't <gasps> she is just a true savage. Okay, so having seen a couple of the corn snakes eat, um, I did just want to kind of tag on the end. We do have one corn snake, that's Timo who I do believe is going through a bit of a, uh, who is going through a little bit of a kind of niggly health problem. He's just got a bit of stuck shed on his face. I've been hoping that by giving him a lot of humidity that would kind of resolve itself. Um, and if it doesn't resolve itself in the next, well, coming days or weeks, I will be taking him to the vet. So he's the only one really that I'm expecting just to not eat out of the corn snakes in our collection. With Sivir, more than any of the other royal pythons in our collection, her appetite does seem to ebb and flow. So um, she will go for a few weeks without eating and then have a few weeks where I can't feed her enough. <laughs> she is constantly surfing the glass on the front of her enclosure and just looking for more food, no matter how much we give her. Um, and because that is so regular, it's not something that I ever worry about. As I speak right now, she is going through a period where she's not particularly interested in food. So it's been a few weeks, totally not worried. In the coming couple of weeks, I expect her to go back on food and she'll be absolutely smashing it. As a kind of closing note, after feeding all of the snakes, one thing that I did just want to add, um, and I think that I may have mentioned it before, but snakes are really, really different to people. So if you're watching this video and you think, oh gosh, they haven't eaten for a few weeks or even a couple of months or more, it's not something to be alarmed about. It's not like humans. Them missing meals for a few weeks or even a few months is just like us skipping lunch. That is the kind of closest correlation that I could try and give. Um, and, and it does take some getting used to. You know, when I when I first got Silco down here and he went for a couple of months without eating, I was freaking out. I was really freaking out. But it's actually, so long as you're confident that the temperatures, humidities, the enclosure is bang on, it, it, it happens and it's normal and it's not something to worry about. And if you are worried, or if I'm ever worried, one of the key things to keep an eye on is the body condition and the weight of your animals. So uh, I'll give a bit of an example. Um, Sibia, even though she's not eating for a few weeks or maybe even a month at a time, she's still growing, she's still gaining weight. Her body condition is absolutely fantastic. And that's why I'm not worried. When it comes to Timo, because he's so young and his body condition was fantastic when he first started refusing food, that's why I wasn't worried. He has now gotten to the point where he's starting to drop weight. Um, so he went from 19 grams to 15 grams over the space of, well, the duration of him not feeding. Um, and because of that, that's why I'm now considering going to the vets because he's dropped 
25% of his body weight. Um, and, and that's the best barometer that you can have when it comes to actually knowing that your snakes are healthy. All right, well, sorry for the little bit of spiel that I had at the end there, but hopefully you've enjoyed this week's video. Um, I do apologize for there not being a video last week, but um, I'm gonna be totally honest. I'm not interested in putting out content if I don't have good content to put out. So last week, we didn't have a video that we thought was worthwhile publishing on YouTube. Um, so we didn't, and that's just how it is. Um, but thank you for joining us this week. We do really appreciate every single one of you viewers and subscribers. So if you enjoyed this week's video, please do share it with your friends or family or anyone that you think might be interested in joining us on our journey. Um, if you're not already, please, please, please make sure you've hit that subscription button, hit the thumbs up and comment down below. But that's all for this week. Thanks again for joining us. See you next time. Goodbye. So now Simon knows that his prey is dead, he's trying to figure out the best way of actually eating it. Because, surprisingly enough, the snakes aren't that smart. <laughs>